Hello YouTube, the Sucky Gamer here with episode 3 of my first season of Minecraft Let's Play. When we last left off, I was burning some iron, and that iron has been burnt. You can see I got an entire level from just pulling out this 22 iron. So we're going to go ahead and take this wonderful, wonderful stuff. And first off, we're going to make an iron pickaxe. Iron pickaxes are important because, like I said, you need to have that iron pickaxe to get things like diamonds, gold, and redstone. And that was the entire reason I came back up, was to get an iron pickaxe. But we're going to use the rest of this to make some armor. So we're going to go ahead and make the chest piece. We're going to make a helmet. And we're going to make some pants. Oh, we're not going to make pants, we're going to make boots. I can totally do math. All right, so that leaves us with two iron left. Let's go ahead and equip this. And we'll just go pantsless for a while. So we've got the outside of our house set up. It's turning nighttime right now. I'm not terribly worried about that because I plan on spending a lot of time down here in my mine. We're gonna go back to that abandoned mine shaft left by some type of ancient civilization. And before I forget, I do want to get more stairs to finish uh, this area off. I should be pretty well stocked with food and everything, though. I do want to leave that behind. We'll keep the coal in case we need more torches, which we definitely will need more torches. We'll get rid of the spider eyes and logs and dirt. And we'll get these stairs. Hopefully three is enough. If three is not enough, oh well. Let's make these into torches real quick. And I'll definitely need more than 16 torches. That should be a fair amount. 32. Alright, now we're going to make our way down into the wonderful mine. Now these abandoned mine shafts are something built just into the default world of Minecraft. And you can find them anywhere. They're usually located around ravines, which are giant, uh, giant areas. Oh, we've got a skeleton. Oh, that scared the living crud out of me. Let's take this guy out. Oh, skeletons are archers, if you didn't notice. They shoot at you with a bow and arrow, and they can hit you from range, and they're pretty good shots, to be perfectly honest. But anyways, as I was saying, mine shafts can be found mostly in ravine areas, which are just giant... Think of Grand Canyon type areas, but there are exceptions, such as the ravine I'm in, where we're obviously, or the mine shaft that I'm in, where we're obviously not anywhere near a ravine. So we're gonna explore this, Indiana Jones style, see what's going on around here, see if we can find some good stuff. Oh, and here is lava. Lava is very, very dangerous. We don't want to go near this. In fact, we're probably going to... I do want to see what's on the other side here, but we're first going to grab this ore right here. This is called Lapis Lazuli. This is used to make wool, blue wool, so you can dye other colors of wool into blue. And just off the top of my head, I don't really use Lapis Lazuli a whole lot. Um, in some of the advanced mods, it's very important, but I can't think of the vanilla uses right off the top of my head. Um, but you can use it to dye blue wool. I'm sure some of our wonderful viewers will, will educate not only myself, but you, uh, in what Lapis Lazuli is used for in the comment section, so look forward to that. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm hoping to find diamonds. You can see that experience has gained. Oh! Oh! Oh man. That is pretty much rule number one in Minecraft, is you never dig straight down. I was lucky enough that there was a path under me, but there could have easily, very easily been a lava pool under me. So rule number one, don't dig straight down. Rule number two, don't dig straight up. And rule number three, creepers are bad. So just keep all that in mind. Rule number four is also Trick Poker is a griefer, as he so admitted on Twitter, but we'll just keep that between us for now. So let's go ahead and head in here. 
Oh, we've got creepers and skeleton. This is looking like an interesting journey we're going to be on. I don't think the creeper and skeleton can get through the water though, so I might be okay. And we'll we'll head back there. I was going to plug that water and take that those two guys on, but I'll come back. I'll come back to it. I have a feeling in my bones that there's good stuff around here. Oh man. Just lava pits everywhere. Now we're getting quite a bit of gold. Like I said, gold isn't really useful for much of anything, but here it is. Now we can see above me. You can see there's water above. It's dripping through the stone. It's dripping through the wood. If I were to destroy those blocks right there, I would be flooded with water. And I don't want that to happen at the moment. Oh, good. We have iron right here. That's exactly what I was looking for. I need more iron for more iron pickaxes and some steel pants. Some iron pants. Oh, that just sounds so comfortable, doesn't it? Iron pants. So this is a fairly good mine shaft that I've found. We're going to be spending quite a bit of time down here. I'll end up getting lost at some point. And, uh... You get to see me cry my way back to the top of the world. So we're going to go ahead and switch out stone pickaxes here. That one's almost broke. One of my wonderful commenters uh, in the previous video... I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. I'll have to look that up and give them a shout out in the next video. But uh, one of my wonderful commenters told me that you can repair items. This was added in during one of the betas of Minecraft and for whatever reason I I just never never realized it. Now what we have here is a very dangerous situation. I need to go ahead and eat. We have what's called a monster spawner. You can see that there. We've got poisonous spiders here that are trying to take me out, but there's a monster spawner. Oh, they are taking me out now. Oh, this is no good. We've got a monster spawner here, and monsters will just constantly be spawning out of this thing unless it's destroyed. I do want to destroy this one. Mainly because I don't feel like dealing with poisonous spiders all day long, but you can always tell when there's a spider monster spawner around because there's just a plethora of spider webs as you can see here. And the best way to get rid of spider webs is to use your sword. I believe shears work as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but chances are you're not going to have your shears down in the, the bottom of a mine shaft. So let's go ahead and head back and grab this iron here. We're getting a fair amount of iron. I'm, I'm very happy with how this is turning out. We have eight iron from this hall already. Oh, and here's some more iron. We have a spider dying somewhere. Sounds like something's on fire somewhere. Right above me, in fact. So a spider probably sensed me through the wall with their spidey sense and it was trying to get to me and probably fell in a pit of lava is what it sounds like. I don't want to dig up there because that would be very dangerous. Now what we have here is a chest. These ancient miners who have apparently abandoned this mine post do leave these chests around. These can be filled with all sorts of goodies, anywhere from diamonds to just useless wood. And this actually has some iron and bread in it, as well as pumpkin seeds, so that is absolutely excellent. Pumpkins will help out a lot in our journey against, uh, our fight against those creatures called Endermen. And you'll find out more, we'll get more about those fellas later. So it looks like we've got quite an interesting area here, actually. Making sure I'm not going to get demolished. We have some lapis lazuli, some melon seeds. Oh, and an iron pickaxe! What luck is that? So that's gonna save me three iron right there with that extra pickaxe. We can see there's a lava pool down there. We're gonna go ahead and mine this 
coal because I was running a bit low on coal. We're actually going to use the iron pickaxe. I can be a little more liberal with my iron pickaxe use now because I do have a second one. There's an enderman right there. We might try taking that enderman on. Endermen are very dangerous. They, uh, they leave you alone for the most part unless you look at them. And if you look at them, they turn into a very, very dangerous adversary. So we're going to try... Oh man, my... I don't want to try to hit him because my... My sword is almost broke. I might have to try to get back to the top here. We'll make another sword. Actually, I could probably... I do have five iron. We can go ahead and just make a crafting table down here. Set that there. And we're going to make an iron sword. Alright, now let's see if we can take that Enderman. Endermen have a very useful item called Ender Pearls that drop out of them. And those Ender Pearls, you, you need to reach the end. So I do want to take every opportunity I can to collect these. And if you, here's a trick. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so close. But normally an Enderman will teleport all around the map, but if you stare at his feet while attacking him, uh, he will be A-OK. -okay. So it's a little useful, useful little bug there. There's another Enderman, but I don't have the health to take him on. Let's actually continue gathering this coal here. And you can see how much damage that Enderman did to me. He just absolutely tore me up. And I, I really thought that I was done for. I didn't think I was going to make it out of that encounter. But I did. Because I'm awesome. Now we have a creeper down here trying to get up. And there it is, folks. That's the money shot. The diamonds. Diamonds are a woman's best friend. Well, they're also my best friend in Minecraft. We're going to go down there. Hopefully there's more than one diamond. Because one diamond doesn't really do a whole lot of good for us. We'll see if this creeper is able to uh, get out of that water. I'm not thinking so. We might be okay here. Yeah, he's stuck. Oh, it looks like there's only one diamond. I am, I'm actually going to take care of this creeper. Because that diamond's going to fall into the water. That should deal with the water. No? Hmm. Oh, it looks like water's coming from a lot of different areas. Yeah, there's just not one area of water. Let's go ahead. Oh man, this is just, this is turning into a mess. A dangerous, dangerous mess. Let's just be cautious, shall we? There we go, that was easy enough. Now we don't want this diamond when I mine it to go down into that lava pit. Oh man! Oh man, take out one creeper and another appears. That's my luck, good thing I had some, I was able to get away from him in time. Uh, to where I didn't take a whole lot of damage, but that's what I'm talking about, folks. Those creepers. Absolutely dastardly fellas. And you might be thinking, man, this guy's doing a lot of work for this diamond. It's totally worth it. This diamond is very important. Unfortunately, it's just one. I could definitely have used more than one, but I'll be happy with just one for now. We've got another creeper just chilling out, trying to hide from me. There he goes. Easy enough. We'll go ahead and grab this uh, iron here. I'm going to have to head back to the surface sometime soon. I hope, hope I'm not too terribly lost. Chances are I am, but one can hope. I'm also hoping a creeper doesn't sneak up behind me, as that would be lame sauce. 
Oh, there's one right there. I guess he didn't see me. Oh, he's not going to jump off. That's what's going on. We have lapis lazuli there. We have a skeleton. Lots of lava. This is, an, this is actually a very interesting looking area. A very interesting looking area. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. But we're not going to explore it any further right now. As I'm almost out of torches. I could make some more. I have 60... But I do want to, I kind of want to get out of here with my one diamond. This early in the game, it's not very good to take a lot of risks. One diamond is quite a bit this early. Plus we can go back, all the iron too is very important. So let's, uh, let's try to head back here. Oh, we have iron here. No. I'm grab this. Oh, right there. I hear another Enderman somewhere around me. Oh, there he is. I have full health, too. Hmm. Can I make it over to him? I think I can. Oh, there he is. <coughs> All right, no Ender Pearl still. Those things are rare as all heck. And I'll explain more about why I really want these Ender Pearls later on when we get near the end, which I mean the end of the first season as well as the end, the dimension. So we're gonna work our way backwards here and probably not be able to make it back. One good way to get back to the top is to put the torches always on one side, either your left or your right, but I don't do that. Real men don't do that. Although I don't know why I don't, because I'm anything but a real man. And there's the water that was leaking down. Let's go and grab this coal here. So you can see I'm level 16 right now. I can spend those levels on enchantments, uh, and we'll get we'll definitely get to that. It probably will be next episode. It really just depends on how fast I can acquire diamonds, um, because you do need four diamonds in order to make an enchanting table. You'll need three to make a diamond pickaxe, because you need that diamond pickaxe to get the obsidian you need. And then you also need one diamond for the actual creation of the enchantment table. So I'm one out of the four I need. So hopefully we'll get lucky and stumble upon quite a few diamonds as we move on. So this is where I encountered the... Oh, I got stuck in the spider web there. This is where I encountered the creeper and the skeletor. As we work our way ever so slowly through there. How did I... Oh, I fell. That's right. I fell through the hole here. Look at that. I'm not so lost. Not yet, anyways. All right, here's the lava I created the path over. And, oh my. And there's a hole in the ground right there. Let's go ahead and just do that. Now this is the part where I might be lost. Back at that lava path there. All right. I think we're on track. All right. Now we're back up top. We should be okay. I didn't actually get lost. I wasn't... That wasn't bad by any means at all. All right, so we're back up top. Let's go ahead and toss the iron. I do want to finish uh, my my pants. 
I do have an iron sword. I have two iron pickaxes. I'm doing very well right now. I'm very happy with the progress we're making. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to burn that gold at some point. There's some coal, some rotten flesh. Now, this rotten flesh you can actually eat. Uh, sometimes it'll make you sick and your hunger will go down faster, but if you need a temporary fix, I can't actually eat it while my hunger's full. If you do need a temporary fix, the rotten flesh from zombies is a, is a good meal. Definitely, definitely take advantage of it. Don't be scared. And we're gonna go ahead and put a second chest. I don't really need it yet. We'll have to get organized eventually in this world, but not at the moment. Oh, glitchy door. All right. I'm gonna have to make a farm sometime soon. We'll have to get into farming uh, one day. Looks like the, the sun's going down anyways. How much meat do I have? I have four pieces of meat left. I should have enough. Yep, I can make the pants now. The wonderful, wonderful pants. And now we are fully armored in iron armor. And I've gone back. I've... That should be good. That should be good. We're going to make our way back down there. Get a lot more torches going. There's 31 torches. I obviously want more than that. There we go. There we go. That's good. We're going to let that other stuff burn in there. I'm hoping I'm not going to die. When you do die, I will respawn back at my bed. But I'll lose all the experience and I'll lose all my items. They'll they'll all fall on the ground. Um, you'll lose about half the experience uh, just through dying. So you won't be. I won't be able to recover all those 17 levels that I've currently earned. Um... But I'll be able to recover some of them, as well as my items, if I can get back in time. That's that's kind of the key part. If you die, you wanna wanna make it back to your body as soon as you can. So we're gonna head back down into that area, back where we were before. <laughs> Man, I'm just going in circles, aren't I? How did I get down there? Here we go. Here we go. And this was the thing I made so I wouldn't fall through. And we're going to go ahead and plug... ...this water. Because this water is a pain. We're going to go all the way back to the top, to the source. Man, this is a odd... I do want to make note of this room. This is a very odd room. Just randomly square. Hmm. Weird. Right, we're going to plug the water up at its source. We're going to go back down. I do want to explore that area down there quite a bit more. Leave that coal there. Just for now, I might get it eventually. Actually, we're gonna go through here. We're gonna see what's through here. Oh, just a lot of lava. This That sounds like where the spider died earlier. Pick up some of this gold. Right, that was a risky move there, but I was successful. Oh, some lapis and some more iron behind me that I didn't even see. Oh, and I've been blocked in by gravel. That wily, wily gravel. Let's go ahead and put a torch here. Take this lapis. Now, normally I'd be skipping out on a lot of this lapis, but um, you get experience for it now. 
So the experience gained while mining is a really cool addition, mainly because it, it forces me to mine things I wouldn't have normally mined before. Because like I said, Lapis doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. But it's nice to have the experience. Right, here we go. Back down into the depths of the world. Oh, stuck while a zombie walks at me. Now, I want to go as low as I can. Like I said in one of the previous episodes, diamonds are only found at the lower levels. So I'm not quite sure what level I'm on right now. There's a way in-game to find out. I don't particularly like using it. I'm not going to tell you guys how to use it. But uh, maybe, maybe you can find out on the internet somewhere. But right now, I'm just going to... I'm going to feel what level I'm on. Oh man, and lots of diamonds down here. Or, uh, lots of iron, rather. Here we go. Oh, and the train track. This was not the way. How did I get down there before? That same area. Oh, creeper! Go ahead and grab this coal here. Oh, that experience is nice. It used to be for all of you new players, you could only get experience through killing monsters. So I'm gonna, I'm really gonna just talk about a lot how much I love this new experience gaining. And I really hope my endeavors down here prove successful because I do want to get those those diamonds. Oh, it looks like there's another zomb uh, spider spawner down here. It looks like the skeleton's actually stuck in there. Actually, I don't want to explore over here. Oh, skeleton. Oh, man, that guy's following me. Oh, crud. Crud monkeys. How did I get over here? Oh, through here. I don't remember how I got down to that lower level. It wasn't through there. I remember walking through here. Oh, maybe I went straight? Maybe? That's exactly where I was a second ago. Maybe I went up here and avoided that lava. Obviously, I'm not the best navigator in the world. There's that again. Oh, yes, that was right. That was right. Because I turned here. And I did something. Oh, my God! 